President Obama and former President Clinton will be among the speakers at a memorial service today for Walter Cronkite here in New York City. It is a final farewell to the journalist long known as the most trusted man in America. And we are pleased to be joined by his children, Chip, Nancy, and Kathy, who are speaking out in their first interview since their father passed away. We so appreciate you coming by to visit with us this morning uh, before this memorial service that so many people are looking forward to. Is there a way to put into words what this amazing flood of response has been since your father passed away? I like the way you asked the question because I'm not sure there is a way to put it in words except that I think for my whole life it's been hard for me to get who he was to other people really. Mm. Uh, you know, he was dad. And um, this has been a, a really big dose of, oh my gosh, there will be thousands of people there to honor him. The president and the former president will be there to honor him. The coming together of the musicians who loved him and whom he loved. And mm. it, it's huge. Yeah, yeah. It's huge. Um, it is, very touching. It is so interesting because as we talked about him so much on this broadcast and on all the other broadcasts on every other sort of medium, this sense that he touched so many people from so many walks of life, this notion that it wasn't just him talking with presidents and heads of state, but the guys from the Grateful Dead loved your dad. It was such, a, such an amazing and, and stunning thing. What do you want people to know about your father? Uh, Dad very much stood for the fundamentals that you'll be very familiar with of journalism being important in a democracy so that voters can cast informed votes at the polls, yeah. that people got the facts, the truth, objective truth. And this was very important to him. And that's why I'd like to mention briefly, Dad was very interested in Amnesty International. Mm. And I'd like to tell everybody that this was a big concern and they work trying to free journalists who have been many times imprisoned for exercising their rights of free speech. And my sister set up a little website for the Walter and Betsy Cronkite Foundation. If anybody would like to contribute to that, we, we send it on to the big charities that, that Dad was interested in and that right. meant something to him. And the ones that meant something to Mom, which were more like animal shelters and, and Right, but this is a like way that. to keep your parents' legacy Exactly, alive. and I'm yeah. really pleased to be able to really do something because so many people want to do things and now I have an opportunity to really do something. It yeah. feels great. It's yeah. a great opportunity to be here and to have the website. I'm very ha excited about it. The, um, the funeral was so powerful on so many different levels. When the opportunity then comes to speak then at a memorial service, what goes through your mind? What's, what's the thing that you want to say finally? Well, it's not final. Right. It's, uh, it's a, uh, another point. memorial. Very this, good point. This one put together by CBS, which... Uh, looks like it'll be a, a, a great event this morning. Part of it is the Intrepid Museum, the aircraft carrier mm -hmm. here in, mm -hmm. in uh, New York City, giving Dad a, an award. Right. Uh, and because the Intrepid does this from time to time, but only literally for presidents, war heroes. I mean... Well, yeah, I guess heads of state. Uh, uh, this one to a, a communicator who, who uh, was a, 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 a patriot uh, to the extent that the veterans, the former crew members, they call themselves, uh, wanted to give this yeah. to, to, uh, to Dad. He was also a, a big supporter of the in, intrepid uh, right. museum re refurbishment yeah. thereof. Yeah. Do, do, what was it like to be Walter and Betsy's kids? Fun. <laughs> Was it? Yes. They were both, one of the things I loved most about both of them is they both had a great sense of play and of life as an adventure. And uh, I remember, you know, we'd get lost driving in the car and it would be an adventure. And it was, um, it was a very, it was a very fun household. There was dancing and laughing and music and... Wow. And our mother was a very witty woman, too. Yeah. Very amusing. I don't know if you had enough. I did, to know several her. times. Yeah. Yes. 
Terrific, folks. And uh, we thank you very much for taking the time to swing by here this morning before this memorial service that so many folks are looking forward to and uh, sharing some stories about your mom and dad. Do and thanks it. for coming to the memorial later today yourself. I'll be there. I'll be there. A lot of us will. For more information on how to contribute to the Walter and Betsy Cronkite Fund, go to our website. That's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.